Hello everyone. Welcome to Vajrang Talks. In this video, we'll see how we can use UiPath Google Suite activities to create a Excel sheet or a spreadsheet and to write data in it. Problem that I faced while using these activities is we are unable to find exactly how and what are the things that we need to place so that we'll get the exact result. Though we have some documentation that's available in New iPath, which we can see it here. New iPath Google Suit, which will give us this uh, documents. So this is the Google Suit scope and they are asking, they are mainly providing three authentication types, client ID, client secret and user. And this is a service user, by the way. And what else? So to exactly use this and how to use this is not provided. A short video for that. If you want to use Google Sheets using UiPath, you can directly use HTTP calls. But other than that, we also have Google Activities, G Suite Activities provided by UiPath. Go to Manage Packages in the official, it should be there, which is Google. So, G Suite. So, we have G Suite installed. I'm not going to install it again. Let's close it. Let me start a new sequence. This you demo. Okay, so here uh, we'll add, we need to add G Suite application scope. All the activities goes in this scope. Now, if I want to create a new sheet, we can directly place add a new sheet. But before doing that, we need to first configure this G Suite application. So we have three types of authentication using an API key. We can use API key, auth ID, and also a service account. API key, okay, to do any of this, first we need to have a Google Cloud console account. Like this is Google Cloud platform. Once we log in, uh, to our any Gmail or any kind of Google service, we can go ahead and search for console.cloud.google.com. In that, let's start with a new project. New project G Suite demo. Uh, mine is a personal account, so I don't have any organization. Let's start. So my project is created, GCU demo. In the APIs, we can go to the dashboard. Since we are using APIs. If we see here, we are having enable APIs. We need to search for Google Sheet, Sheet API. Because we need to access this spreadsheet for this video manage api already enabled okay okay i need to change this in g suite demo okay let's enable it should be quick yeah it's done let's go back to our api services dashboard and in this we'll have credentials to try okay we have credentials and we need to create a credential so let's try with api key okay this is my api key uh, which i'll delete after this demo but we can use this and directly place it here there are only few activities that can be used using this API key. Not everything works with this. Let's say that if you want to read data from 
spreadsheet it will work but if you want to write something then you need either oauth or a service account let's close this so this is an api key and create credential oauth client and service account as well i'll show you how exactly we can create so before we go and create oauth client id we need to create a consent so this is g suite demo and let me add one more scope to this this is sheets google sheets api i need to see edit create delete spreadsheets in google drive this is what i need to do and click on add and click on save let's say that if you want to work with some other application like if you want to use a facebook and from there you are linked to some different application there will be consent which is asking you to provide this credential uh, provide these details from your account so that's what it is about we are not using any of this we'll click on any other thing uh, g it demo create so this is setting up an auth and here is my client id which i copied and which i'll paste it here this is client id and this is my secret key and click on ok and i think the name can be this but uh username they identify to user a separate response token is generated for unique so this i don't think so this is required but let's add a sheet here now we we need to first create a google workbook create a new spreadsheet in this let's say that there is a test spreadsheet one save it and file url this is str underscore url and here we'll have str underscore sheet id so what is a sheet id when you have something in a url let's say that okay this is one of the sheet which i created just now so in this particular sheet the this particular id is called unique id which is specific to one particular sheet that will be as an output for this activity now let's go ahead and write a okay let's control shift and t which will give us log we'll have a log message and in this let's add a error or bond to make it different and we'll also give str sheet id and str sheet url so you will see a consent now which will be asked by this application scope since we are using client id and client secret here we can select which type of authentication we need to use so let's go with auth start so this is what a consent is we created a jisu demo and it's asking us to give permission so this is what i'll give app isn't verified because this is something that i created google didn't verify it yet. but i can go to jisu demo and i can allow it so this is asking me to see credit see edit create delete your spreadsheets in google drive hello okay hello so this is what will happen when we are working on auth id or auth client id and if you see the output we have two results this is one of the result which is the id and if you see the url this is the url let me copy this and let's go to chrome let's paste it so this is test spreads uh, test spreadsheet one which is something that's created for us 
now uh, let's say we want to add data to it how to do that let's comment it out so that we can go ahead and check for right row or right a range instead of that i will just append a row to the sheet i will add it to to a1 and in the output we have the id of this so let me copy this from beginning to the end copy close and the spreadsheet id should be here so to make it more accessible i'll create str underscore sheet id and i'll give it as default so whenever i use it i use it instead of this as i give str sheet id and in this sheet one i need to add row so a row can be an area of data array row uh, this is a and b let's insert b and finally c and this should have a b c and this should be an array oh, i think i didn't add it properly so after a there should be a double quote it should solve our error so if we see here there is no data this is a new sheet fresh one let's debug and see append row executing append row is closed if you see this we have the data here like if you want to add more we can add here run the file and we'll have the result see this is just a reference a1 is just a reference but as we append the data goes to the next rows not in the same row like if we run it again so if we see we can see that the data will be available in the next row now if we want to read something control d let's go ahead and add a new sheet to it we can add a new sheet and we have a str sheet id and a new sheet if you see there is only sheet one and we don't have any new sheet let's run it okay the new sheet is appended to the workbook now let's go with service account this doesn't work now i'll show you how we can create a service account so in the same g suite application scope go to our credentials apache suite okay cancel okay in this in the same create a credential and create service account now in this create a new service account g suite demo if you see here we have this particular service account create and the role can be owner depending upon what your organization provides you and we can create it there will be a json file that will be downloaded along with that we'll have a security key so here we have gcu demo this is a json file which we can which we have downloaded and we'll also have a secret key for this manage service account so in this gcu demo let's go ahead and edit here we'll have this particular key 
copy this and go to application scope this is the password and we also have a email so normally we will have our own email but this service account will not use our email it will be used like it's a separate application which has its own email and it we are giving the access to that particular email to provide the details and here we have a key path let's go ahead and add the key path this is gcu demo copy and let's go and paste but at the end we need to give dot json okay this json i directly added it to the project folder nothing nowhere else if we if this is kept in separate folder give the path properly here that should be fine and here we are using service account key and here i will show you something that is interesting let's go ahead and read range and this should be str sheet id now when we have this one will include the headers as well we'll write it in control shift t csv a write to csv and in that we'll add control k uh, g dry sheet data next this is what we are reading and here we need to write something so data table can be g drive data sorry g drive sheet data and the path can be data dot csv include the headers and if you see here we don't have anything with data dot csv let's go ahead and run this i am sure that we need to get an error let's see okay read range faulted though the service account is created and we are providing the details properly problem with this type of authentication is when we have a sheet and here we have an email we need to give explicit permissions for this particular email to edit then we will be able to use service account or else we will not be able to use the service account so this is an important step go ahead and run this again okay now it ran successfully without any error and we have a data sheet and we have a result here so this is how we need to use there are three types of authentications available for g suite api key or then service account i think api key you can do it by yourself uh, but the most important things are OAuth and client ID, which I explained. Like, share, and subscribe my videos, and see you in the next video where I'll be sharing a lot more details about the drive activities. This is Vajrang Talks.